welcome back to our final installment in our holiday cooking series. It just happens to be my favorite. What we're going to be working on today is the ultimate leftover Thanksgiving turkey sandwich. We have an array of leftovers here and a few things um, that we actually prepared just to take it to the next level. So we have our cranberry sauce, a nice sweet potato apple stuffing, our leftover turkey meat. We also have some warm gravy ready to go, some smoked cheddar, and then we just have some mayonnaise and herbs that we're going to uh, add a little extra flavor. Okay, the first step that I like to get going with is warming up our turkey. So we've warmed up some of our leftover gravy, and we're going to just take some of our turkey meat. I like nice chunks. You could really piece it out however you like. You could use larger chunks if you're using a roll like we are today. If you're putting it on a baguette, then you may want to make smaller pieces because it'll be a little easier to eat. So we're just going to pick it, put it into our warm gravy. You can reheat it put, it, put it back on the stove for a little bit, or you could just leave it in the warm gravy. It's really up to you, depending on how hot you want the sandwich to be. We're looking good for quantity. I'm just going to give it a quick stir. This gravy we brought up, it was pretty hot, so we're really just going to let it sit in there for a few minutes, take the chill out of the meat, and we're going to be ready for next steps on that. Step two, preparing the roll. So, I'm going to take it over the top today. This is optional. Um, but uh, I roasted off some nice thick cut bacon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this bacon off the pan. We're going to cut the rolls in half. And before we toast the rolls, we're going to dip them in a little bit of that bacon fat. Uh, this is obviously going to take it to the next uh, level with flavor. So we're going to remove our bacon from the tray. See it's nice and crisp. It's holding a nice shape. It's always a good way to tell if the bacon is done or not. Now we're going to get our rolls ready. So we're just going to cut our rolls in half. And then generally when I toast a roll for a sandwich, you toast it. You can put a little butter on there to elevate the flavor. But since we have this great bacon pan drippings available, that's what we're going to use. You could obviously um, control how much you want on there. If you don't want it too fatty on there, you could just give it a quick dip and take it off. I like a lot, so I'm going to let it sit on there for a few minutes. So we'll just let this sit for a minute or two. Then we'll take the rolls off. We'll transfer them onto our baking sheet and start to build. OK, our rolls have been there for a few minutes. So we're just going to take them off. You can see they got a nice glaze. And we're going to put them on a parchment lined baking tray. I always try to match up the bottom and the top. And then we'll start building. OK, the first thing we're going to put on there is some mayonnaise. So we're just going to put a little bit on each side. Like I said, you could put as little or as much as you'd like. I'm going to put a little less than I normally do just because we use that nice bacon fat. By all means, you can make a homemade mayonnaise and flavor it with garlic or some herbs. But day after Thanksgiving, you've already probably done a ton of dishes the day before. I really like to do as little prep with this as possible. The only thing I really added today was the bacon, just because I really like that element. Next, I'm going to chop up some fresh herbs. I have a little herbs left from my turkey and gravy, that mixed pack that we shared. I'm just going to take some rosemary and sage out of there, sort of rough chop it, and then I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of that. So I like it nice and coarse. You could obviously go a little more. But so we're going to sprinkle a little bit of that. It's a little easier, like I said. You want to make this fairly quickly with not a lot of dishes. So rather than making a separate herb mayonnaise, just chopping some herbs on your cutting board and adding them will do the trick. Next, we have some smoked cheddar. Uh, we had a little bit left over from the cheese plate, maybe. So, uh, you know, 
you can, I'm using Smoke Cheddar, it just happens to be our Cave to Co-op this month. Um, so feel free to come by and pick up a brick. This is gonna add a nice, really complement the bacon as well. So I'm just gonna slice it. You can really use any cheese you have. And then I'm gonna put this on both sides as well. Just because we're gonna be warming the sandwich, I really like to have something because we're putting so many things on here. It's nice to have cheese on both sides. It helps keep everything together. Really, this is looking good already and we haven't even added half the stuff, so I'm really excited. So next, we'll add some turkey. So we'll bring our sauce pot over and now we're gonna gently add some turkey. Don't worry about the gravy on there, it's just gonna add more flavor. So we're gonna start spooning our turkey on there. So if we're transferring our turkey, you have two options. You can use a slotted spoon or a regular. Um, if you want it a little less messy, use the slotted, kind of hold it over the pot. It'll strain a little bit of the gravy out. I like it on the messy side, so I'm just gonna use a regular. So we're gonna put the turkey on the base. Like so. So these are looking good. I'm gonna add a little bit of gravy to the other side as well, just because I'm a big fan of the gravy. Okay, next step, we have some stuffing, some cranberry, and our bacon. So I am going to add some of our stuffing. Since this is leftover stuffing, it could be a little on the dry side because you've already baked it. So if that's the case, I just like to grab it with my hands and kind of almost make a patty out of it or else it'll kind of get all crumbly. So if you can do that, that's the best way. Just make a nice patty and you lay it on the top. Bread is one of my favorite things to eat, so I like to put a lot. But you can always just put a little too, depending on what bread you're using. These aren't too uh, bulky, these rolls, so we can put a little extra stuffing on there and still feel good. If you were using something a little heartier, maybe you would go with a little less stuffing. I'm gonna put the cranberry on the top just because we're gonna bake it open um, and you don't want everything on one side because then maybe the things underneath the turkey and the stuffing, it'll take that side a little longer to heat up. So I like to evenly distribute the items. So we're gonna put a little bit of the cranberry on there or a lot. <laughs> This is looking great. Last but not least, our bacon. It's looking good, nice and crisp. We're just gonna do a crisscross of the bacon. I like it hanging out. Like I said, I like my sandwich a little messier. It's the day after, we got a little bacon left, so we're just gonna use it all up on there. All right, now we're ready to go in the oven. I would put it in a, anywhere from 350 to 400. You're looking at about eight to 10 minutes. You'll see the cheese will start to melt. Um, things will just kind of look warm. The bread will start to toast a little bit on the outside, but a safe eight to 10 minutes, you should be good. All right, we're about ready to come out of the oven. As you can see, bacon got a little crispier. You can give just a little tug on the bread. It's nice and crisp. We got cheese melting. Everything's looking ready. We're gonna bring it over to the workstation and finish these up. Okay, our final step is really just taking the top, putting it together. As you can see, beautiful looking sandwich. It's got a nice coating from that bacon fat on the top. I give it a little press and then we're gonna transfer it to our plate. Okay, what I like to do, this is next, next level. Uh, if anyone wants to go that far, we take it off. We give it one final little press. Take our knife. We want to gently saw through the top. We don't want to press down too hard just because there is a lot on there. I'm just gonna take a look. We got a nice looking sandwich there. So I'm gonna put this on my plate. Obviously ready to eat, amazing sandwich. If you really want to take it to the next level, I take some more of that hot gravy and I dump it right over the top.
let that cool down for a few minutes. And that is my version of the ultimate Thanksgiving leftover turkey sandwich. <laughs> Enjoy. Enjoy.